Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Joy Toy Warhammer Fishy Licensed Space Wolves Ragnar Black Mane. This is a 118 scale adult collector bowl. Recommended for ages 15 and up. Here's the packaging jet black with a nice artwork of the figure that you get inside. Here's the top of the packaging, bottom of the packaging, side of the packaging side of the packaging and the back of the packaging showing the product images a very large one with all the stuff you get in the figure smaller ones on the front back and close up of his head and chest area very nice all right with that being said let's get this guy out the packaging and check him out here's all your package contents inside the clamshell we do have a cape and all of his accessories ragnar black mane sometimes known as the Black Wolf is an ascended Primaris Space Marine officer of the Space Wolf's chapter and the youngest wolf lord to lead one of the 12 greatest companies of the chapter in the history of the Sons of Lehman Russ. Black Mane's Grand Company, the Black Mane's, frequently has the honor of leading the Space Wolf's planetary assaults, a role at which Ragnar and his warriors excel. For his packs are the undisputed masters of the drop pod assaults, known as the Claws of Russ. Blackmane is the only space wolf to become the wolf lord without becoming a great hunter. Blackmane is a current chap chapter champion and the bearer of the revered artifact known as the Wolf Helm of Russ, which is which he presented to Uric the Slayer as a sign of respect. When I first seen this figure, I knew I had to have it. It gave me a feel of like, I'm a big huge fan of like the Dynasty area. Like if you ever played the video game Dynasty lore, I think it has some of the most beautiful art, character designs, attention to detail to their overall aesthetics. And this just kind of remind me of that. And then if you continue to watch this video, you're going to see how well Joy Toy actually paid so much attention to the lore of Ragnar. And they put it into this figure. And I'm going to show you several different things and tell you a little about everything that's on this figure and it all has a purpose so let's just start it here because i can't wait to get into this i mean the head sculpt is just incredible again i'm not a big fan of screaming heads but you know i can't really <laughs> deny this head it is amazing we're still with the hair it looks incredible we have a very flat black um paint with some white line work some dry brushing we do have braids throughout his hair so we have these uh gold little ties in his hair holding the braids together do we have this piece here that holds his hair up the top of his head gives you that dynasty dynasty warrior look um the top of his head is this comb back has a white dry brushing across looks incredible he does have a fang earring in his ear we have the awesome face sculpt him yelling with his white teeth and fangs, scowling down, scars on his face. This side of his head, we do have some of the uh, helmet pieces done in a the light blue, like his arm power armor here, with the silver throughout and on the back also. His head, does, his head rotates 360. He can look down, not too much back, side to side. So he has a nice range of motion pretty to get you nice and really insane poses very very cool now as you can see here joy toy actually incorporated the wolf cloak right now took his name from the black mane wolf that he slayed as part of his trial of mordecai this deed won him great honor and a promise of future success in the chapter this is just like a, v, a very uh, flexible PVC piece, but sculpted very nicely. We have the whites, the browns, and the tans, and light browns, black claw, claws, and highlighting. Green eyes on the wolf head. Here we have the black on the nose, and then on the actual nose is black also. I say sculpted. Uh, here's the inside of that. Kind of even sculpt work on the paws. Pretty decent. Very, very cool. That is definitely an eye catching piece for this figure, nonetheless. Very, very nice. Now we look at this pauldron. We do have the black pauldron 
with the gold gold 3D woof head. This is not a painted on or a decal. This is sculpted 3D here. You can see the layers, gold trim around, and then an etched R into the pad right there. That is super nice. The upper back here, we do have the place for his power pack. It's just incredible. We take a look at that too. Um, there's a lot to look at. This figure is beautiful. Very, very excited to have this figure. Now, even this necklace, this is the Wolf Tooth Necklace. It's an honor badge unique to the Space Wolves chapter. Created from the teeth of the Fennis and Wolves. The Wolf Tooth Necklace is reputed to grant a wear of strength and philosophy in combat. Like of the wolf that it was taken from. Whether or not there is any truth to the power in such tokens, the effects on the Space Wolves Battles Brothers cannot be denied. Such necklaces are awarded as prizes in the test of martial strength held in the fang. So we can see a lot of detail. There's a lot going on. We got the chain off. So obviously it's plastic, but nicely detailed, nicely painted. We have the fangs. We have the tokens with the R's and the other symbols. We have this gold piece here. This fantastic with the diamond in the center. Like a metallic color. Pretty nice. Down underneath there, we do have... That's not removable, but there's like a skull of a wolf and crossbones and white with black eyes. That's very hard to see because that's not like very movable. It's stiff and you know probably affixed somewhere. We had the silver studs throughout his chest armor. Very, very cool. Now moving down to the lower body, you can see that there's this very beautiful looking belt that is actually on Ragnar. This is the belt of Russ. Each great company possesses a single belt of rust. These were crafted by the master iron priest Steph Black Soul following Russ's disappearance and are said to be have been based on the mighty belt of the Primarch himself that he wore. I mean, I love the color. This is just beautiful. We have the black belt, the red trim, the gold wolves, the diamond in the center. We have these little silver studs throughout. We have a fang hanging here on a ring. There's an empty ring right there. And it does go all the way around the figure. And when you get around the figure, it goes to this thinner strap. So it's a smaller belt in the back versus the front. There's also a bunch of stuff going on here on this figure. Here we have a unique, one of a kind so far in the Joy Toy line. We have this pistol case with no grip. It has this very nice etched design. Brown belt, um, pack, I'm sorry. These are actually a one sculpted piece. It's removable, it's on a ball pig. As we move around to the other side of Ragnar, um, he does have some other, another piece that's significant also in the old lore. I'm trying to get so much going on in this figure. As you can see here, he has a cloth pat bag. It's really not cloth, but it looks like it's cloth. You know, it's plastic, PVC, but a lot of chains there, a cylinder. Very cool, very nice. Oh man, it's so hard to get that out of there. So to the centerpiece of this removable um, sculpted piece is this wolf tail talisman. Space wolves are highly superstitious and, and carry a collection of talismans which they feel will somehow protect them in, in battle. And this is what, uh, this is the purpose of this for Ragnar. He, this is like his rabbit tail for good luck in battle. So he can be successful. Very, very nice piece. Definitely appreciated that was, you know, inc included in this set by Joy Toy. Like I said, this guy's got a lot of uh, lore built into him. So on the, also on the back of this arm, I just noticed we have a fang here. And then on his gauntlets, you see the metallic red diamond with some print there. Pretty nice. There's also some on this gauntlet also. And I believe it's different. Um, yes, it's different. Definitely different, different text. Then we have the studded gloves here with the silver on it. Very, very cool. Very nice. As we move down to like the lower body here, we have... You know, some studs throughout his knee pads, some talismans here on his legs, some more of that print. 
that's just done a beautifully done and like it's gold and black we have that on both sides we have this piece here then we have the studs here on the top of his foot then we have these sculpted in golden claws that you don't want to get kicked with that also got to do some serious damage so we took a look at the articulation for the head for the um, arm it is on a ball joint it does rotate 360 i believe as if it um yeah on a soft ratcheting this is a v1 body which is fantastic for me uh, you can see the pauldrons are on a ball peg so that it can move freely with the arm very nicely we have the bicep, uh, bicep uh, rotation 360 then we have double jointed elbows which is limited because of all the gauntlets and stuff the hands on a ball joint to rotate 360 all year round they go down and up in and out and all around for his uh, body we do have like the back and forth so you can lean back pretty far and then forward it's the side to side there's a 360 rotation to waist but there's so much going on in this character uh, it would take a little bit to get around it's there if you want it just so you know uh, both legs have um thigh rotation double jointed knees looks pretty sweet feet do pivot down we have the rocker side to side you could probably get 360 rotation if you wanted to force it i'm not doing that toe articulation up works very nice very cool piece very excited um i'm really happy how because nothing fell off i mean i think he has a little bit of a balance issue but maybe you just got to get him into a uh good good standing position though so there's a couple different angles you can check out just in case there's something you didn't get to see in the beginning top of his head pauldron there's this section the back of him on his feet very cool just that main one more time very very nice so first up we do get a very unique piece from joy toy this is a frost fang sword and i must say it is incredible and it is massive look how tall it is to the figure it's pretty much as tall as ragnar beautiful teeth here silver orange frost fang right across the body we have the diamond and the gold whip head. This red piece here makes it look incredible. Black handle, some silver, gold on the bottom of the handle. It looks awesome. Then we have the motor on that side. That's incredible. Amazing. Even have like the little wheel piece here. So it looks like it's realistic. I love how the ears come down because you have this red that goes up like a V and then the the wolf's ears come down into like the to give it an X look. That's pretty cool. Frostfang. Uh, Ragnar's frost blade was crafted centuries ago by the master iron priest Fergus Forgrim. Its chainsaw teeth fashioned from a rare metal whose secret died with the maker. So it's a beautiful and unique piece. Here we have Ragnar's bolt pistol with the purity still on it. Pretty decent. Drill barrel, drill through the side. Same color pattern we used to see in the gun metal and the flat block with those silver studs throughout. No removable clip though, but that's okay. It's not a big deal for me. So here's a gripping hand. You can see they all have the studs on them. Pretty decent. Whoops, let me grab that. It must be alive, this hand. This is one of my favorite hands. It's like he has this choking hand, has the studs on it. I love the way that looks and how it's sculpted. That's my favorite hand in this set. Here we have like the trigger finger hand with the studs on it. That's pretty cool. And then we have the other set where he's just like grabbing, tearing at his enemy. These are awesome hands. You can see myself switching these out from these hands with gripping hands quite frequently in my playability. Okay, here's this power pack. Oh, this is beautiful. Big diamond in the center, some silver studs throughout. 
Try brushing some black vent there where you have these beautiful gold wolf heads. The teeth. It's incredible. We have the silver painted in it and a black wire. That's even extra touches that I love. We have these two black wires that go to the bottom of the wolf's neck. That's super cool. Wow, that's a beautiful piece. But that's not all. There's actually something else that's very cool and meaning, meaningful with this backpack. So we have this beautiful piece here. Very nice. We have the talismans again here. The fangs. The other talismans. This is a PVC cloak. We have the red at the bottom. Now I'm not totally sure if this is supposed to be an extension of the uh, obviously the wolf here on the shoulder to give out a full coverage if that's a separate piece. Um, but the way the aesthetics look, if you can see here, it looks like it's meant to be part of the wolf that he slayed and they take his name. It's just very, very nice. So as you can see, it just goes over the hole where the backpack goes. And then you're going to go ahead and insert that like that. And then you have these pieces here. Be very careful with the pegs. They are known for breaking throughout the community of Joy Toy. But you can see how beautiful it looks on the side. The back of him. Very, very cool. That's awesome. Very, very sweet. This is one incredible figure. Joy Toy keeps knocking it out of the park with these figures. That's just incredible. I just think this is a well-rounded figure with the lore included and some amazing one-of-a-kind pieces. And there he is holding Frost Fang. Looking beautiful as always. Man, he would really catch my eye if I came into your collection and seen this standing there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Let me know. If you like the figure, hit the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you think. If you like it, you don't. Your comments, you have it, want it. Love to hear your thoughts. Love to interact with our community. Um, if you can, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.